Hello and welcome back to another lecture. We can start working on some hands-on projects now that we have set up our new AWS account. In the following video series, you will learn how to deploy this HTML website on AWS using the Management Console, CloudFormation, Terraform, Docker, and Ansible. We are going to use this reference architecture to complete this project. And according to our reference architecture, we will launch our EC2 instance in a subnet in our default VPC. We will also create a security group and open the necessary ports for our website to work properly. We only have to open two ports for this project, and I am using these users in the reference architecture to explain why we need to open these ports. Two types of users will need access. The first is the user who wants to access the website we hosted on our EC2 instance. These users will use the domain name or the IP address of our EC2 instance to access the website. And opening port 80 will allow these end users to access the website hosted on our EC2 instance. The second is the user who will maintain the EC2 instance that our website is hosted on. You can call this user an admin and for our project, this admin will be you. You are the person that will perform tasks such as patching and updating your EC2 instance. You will also install the website on your EC2 instance, so you can consider yourself the admin. And opening port 22 will allow you to access your EC2 instance to maintain it and perform security patches and updates. Please understand the difference between these users. The first users that I called end user can only access the website you hosted on your EC2 instance on port 80. And the second user is you, the admin who can access the backend of your EC2 instance on port 22 and you can also access the website you hosted on your EC2 instance on port 80. This is why we are going to create a security group and open port 22 and port 80 for this project. Once we have opened port 22 to allow the admin to have access to the EC2 instance, please note that you will also need a key pair to connect to the EC2 instance. So in the next lecture, I will show you how to create a key pair and how to connect to your EC2 instance from a Windows computer using PODI. Once you have learned how to create a key pair and connect to your EC2 instance, then we will start our project. Please leave your comments if you have any questions about the projects we are going to complete. Thank you and I will see you in the next lecture. Bye.